peak expiratory flow rate and peak flow meter presented by Dr. Jul Mohsin Udin DTCD FCPS pulmonology what is peak flow meter a peak flow meter is an inexpensive portable handheld device for those with asthma that is used to measure how well air moves out of their lungs the peak flow meter works by measuring how fast air comes out of the lungs when person exhale forcefully after inhaling fully this measure is called a peak expiratory flow or PEF keeping track of PEF is one way patient can know if his symptoms of asthma are in control or worsening it is important to know that peak flow meter only measures the amount of airflow out of the large airways of the lungs changes in airflow caused by the small airways which also occur with asthma will not be detected by a peak flow meter small airway disease SAD defined by a reduction in forced expiratory flow at 25 to 75 percent of the pulmonary volume FEF 25% minus 75% the peak expiratory flow PF also called peak expiratory flow rate PEFR is a person's maximum speed of expiration normal expected value depends on a patient's sex, age and height. Definition of BEF The peak expiratory flow rate, BEF also known as a peak flow, is the maximal rate that a person can exhale during a short maximal expiratory effort after a fall. Inspiration In patients with asthma, the BEF percent predicted correlates reasonably well with the percent predicted value for the forced expiratory volume in one second FEF1 expiratory flow is lowest in the early morning and highest in the afternoon if patient wants to take the test only one time during their day, they should take it first in the morning, before using a bronchodilator medicine. Peak flow rate can be measured upon awakening, and in the late afternoon or early evening. BEF varies throughout the day. In a person who does not have asthma, it may vary between 10% and 15%. In a person who has poorly controlled asthma, it may vary more than 20%. Personal best. A person's personal best is his or her highest peak flow. This is the PEF that will help the patient to find their correct asthma zones. The personal best is used in their self-management plan that says what to do during a sudden asthma attacks. One can determine his personal best by taking PEF readings over two to three weeks when the asthma is under control during these weeks peak expiratory flows should be recorded at least twice daily the personal best is usually reached in the afternoon or evening personal best measurements are never measured during an asthma attack personal best is the highest reading you have over this period of time children need to have their personal best measurement checked about every six months as lungs grow with age up to 35 years of age peak flow chart of national asthma council of australia the peak flow chart is available as a two-page document in pdf format that one can download the first page includes easy to follow instructions for entering the peak flow measurements there second page is a chart that holds eight weeks of 
measurements. The pages should be printed. Single-sided for easy reference. Print multiple copies of the second page if long. Term monitoring is needed. The measurement of peak expiratory flow was pioneered by Martin Wright, who produced the first meter to measure lung function. Their original design of instrument was introduced in the late 1950s, and the subsequent development of a more portable, lower cost version is the Mini Wright Peak Flow Meter. To who should use a peak flow meter? People with moderate to severe asthma should have a peak flow meter at home. Even peak flow meters are very helpful if a child have moderate to severe asthma and require daily asthma medications. Most children ages 6 and up should be able to use a peak flow meter. How to use peak flow meter? 1. Move the marker to the bottom of the numbered scale and connect the mouthpiece to the peak flow meter if it isn't already connected. 2. Stand up if you're able. 3. Take a deep breath, filling your lungs completely. 4. Place your lips tightly around their mouthpiece. Blow as hard and as fast as you can with a single breath. 5. Note the final position of the marker. This is your peak flow rate. 6. Follow the steps above then blow into the peak flow meter two more times. Record the highest reading of the three. Why it's done. 1. To recognize early changes that may be signs of worsening asthma and thus preventing asthma attack. Explanation. During an asthma attack, the muscles in the airways tighten and cause the airways to narrow. The peak flow meter alerts you to the tightening of the airways often hours or even days before the patient have any asthma symptoms. By using own Beth with his, her asthma action plan, he or she will know when to take his, her rescue asthma inhaler or other asthma medicine. By following the steps in asthma action plan, patient may be able to stop the narrowing of the airways quickly and avoid a severe asthma emergency. 2. Patient can learn what triggers their asthma. 3. It helps patient to decide whether their asthma action plan is working well. 4. It helps patient to decide when to add or adjust asthma medications. 5. The patient came to know when to seek emergency care. Classification of peak flow readings. Peak flow readings are often classified into three zones of measurement according to the American Lung Association, green, yellow, and red. Doctors and health practitioners can develop an asthma management plan based on the green yellow red zones zones reading description green zone 80 to 100 percent of the usual or personal best peak flow a peak flow reading in the green reading zone indicates that the asthma is under good control yellow zone indicates caution it may mean 50 to 79 percent of the usual or respiratory airways are Personal peak flow reading, narrowing and additional medication may be required. Red zone indicates a medical emergency. Severe airway narrowing may occur and immediate action. Less than 50% of the needs to be taken. This would usual or personal best peak flow usually involve contacting a doctor or hospital. Readings diurnal variation of BEF. Peak expiratory flow varies throughout the day in normal subjects, and this diurnal variation is increased in people with asthma. Diurnal variability of peak flow has been used as a marker of airway responsiveness.
Diurnal variability of peak expiratory flow rate. PEFR, greater than 20% for at least 3 days in. A week for 2 weeks is typical of asthma. If less than 15%, consider other causes e.g. ERTI, COPD, cardiac, cystic fibrosis, etc. Calculation of diurnal variation. Diurnal variation, if the difference between the highest and lowest values divided by their mean exceeds 20%, and is at least 60 liters slash min closing parenthesis. The diagnosis of asthma is strongly supported. Highest PEF lowest PEF X100. Mean of the two values. Reversibility with PEF. Take initial peak flow, PF, measurement dash. Best of three good blows, gives albutamol 400. Micro GM through appropriate device. After 15 to 20 minutes, take second PEF measurement. If, post bronco dilator PEF first PEF, equals 60. L per minute then it is called reversibility present. How to take care of peak flow meter. Most peak flow meters require weekly. Cleaning with warm water and a mild. Detergent. FAQ. What is diurnal variation? Diurnal variation, fluctuations that occur during each day. What is the difference between peak flow meter and spirometer? A peak flow test cannot be used to confirm whether you have asthma, this is what a spirometer is used for. Thank you all.